Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It's a puzzle from Katrina Ag, and it's day three of our Agvent calendar. We're gonna solve 31 Katrina Ag puzzles in 31 days, and today is December 3rd. The question is asking what fraction is shaded, and it tells us the triangle is equilateral. I'm also making another assumption that's not explicitly stated, that this circle is concentric with this circle. That means this is the center of both the smallest circle and the largest circle. The other circle has a different center somewhere else. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, since we know this triangle is equilateral, that means all the angles will be equal to 60 degrees. Next, let's draw this radius of the smaller circle at right angles to the base of our equilateral triangle. And let's give it a label of little r. And then next, let's draw this radius of the larger circle. It'll end up cutting that 60 degree angle into two 30 degree angles. Right here, we've made a right triangle. Let's focus on that right triangle. This is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And in every 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is twice as long as the shortest side. So the hypotenuse will be equal to two R. And if we look back up here, this R relates to the radius of the smaller circle and the two R is the radius of the larger circle. So if we take this radius and extend it further, this whole thing is a radius of the larger circle, so it'd be equal to two R, which means this piece would be one R. And then we can do the same thing up here. We can draw this radius of the larger circle. It will also be split up into R and R because this is the radius of the smaller circle and then the whole thing is 2R. So now let's focus on our three circles. We have a small circle, a medium circle, and a large circle. Let's find the radius of each of them. The little circle has a radius of R and the big circle has a radius of 2R. So now we just gotta figure out the medium circle. In this medium circle, the diameter is equal to 3r because going all the way across it is 3r. So in this equation, if we divide both sides by 2, diameter divided by 2 would give us the radius, and 3r divided by 2 would be 3r over 2. So let's label this radius as 3r over 2. Let's call the areas of these circles a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3. For a sub 1, it would be equal to pi r squared. For a sub two, it'd be equal to pi times the quantity three r over two squared. And the area of a three is equal to pi times the quantity two r squared. Ultimately, the question is asking, what is the shaded area over the total area? And we can figure this out. The shaded can be represented by the large circle a three minus the medium circle a two plus the small circle a one. And then the total is just the large circle a three. So this is what we want to solve for. Let's copy it down and let's give ourselves some space. In the place of a sub 3, we'll plug in this. In the place of a sub 2, we'll plug in this. In the place of a sub 1, we'll plug in this. And then once again, in the place of a sub 3, we'll plug in this. And now let's copy this down and simplify it. For the first term, this exponent would distribute to both of these, so it'd be 2 squared r squared. And same thing for this one, the exponent would distribute to all three of these, so it'd be 3 squared r squared over 2 squared. And for this one, it would go to the r to be r squared. And then for this one, it would be 2 squared r squared. 2 squared is equal to 4. 3 squared is equal to 9. 2 squared is equal to 4. And 2 squared is equal to 4. I ran out of room. Let's get rid of this one. And let's move this up here. All the terms on top and bottom contain a pi r squared. So let's factor out a pi r squared from top and bottom. On top, after we factor out a pi r squared, this first term is just 4. And then we're going to subtract this one, which will just be 9 fourths. And then we're gonna add this one, which would be a one. And then on bottom, after we factor out a pi r squared, we'll just have four. So here it is with everything factored out. This pi r squared and this pi r squared will cancel each other out. Now we gotta simplify this. Let's focus on top and give everything a common denominator. We'll change the four into 16 fourths and the one into four fourths. Now that all these fractions have a common denominator, we can write them as a single fraction. Now we're dividing by four and then again dividing by four. That's the same thing as dividing by 16. And now we can combine these on top. 16 minus nine is seven, and seven plus four is 11. And now we're done. This is the ratio. The fraction that is shaded is 11 sixteenths. Let's give it a label of shaded area over total area. This is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. This problem was day three of our advent calendar. And this problem will be day four. We're given two circles and two squares, and these radiuses are both four. And it wants to know what is the area of this square. This is the problem we'll solve for tomorrow. How exciting.